Real Tech right here, just doing a one-time video with my LG X Power. This is with the front camera because I wanted to do a three-month review. on my ZTE Grand X Max 2. Now after just a little over three months I'd have to say I'm very impressed with this phone still. I get around I have around I'd say five and a half hours of on-screen time which is lower than it used to be. I usually keep my my brightness down because the screen is actually very bright. Oops. <laughs> I forgot I have it all on the one screen, but everything works exceptionally well I mean for example click on YouTube opens very quickly Let's say for example words of friends words of friends opens fairly quick it, it doesn't matter what phone I've ever played it on um, it's, that's a game a game that's always taken a few minutes to open. But just for example, for contacts, boom. You know, pretty much, pretty much any app. Like for example, hit Twitter. Of course, it's gonna be stubborn. But it actually normally works open faster than that. But I mean, this phone is still still a beautiful phone. Works great. I play Clash of Clans, Pokemon Go, stuff like that. Words with friends. Um, there's a few games I deleted off here because I'm gonna be factory resetting it to help my friend out as her phone that she has right now the battery is is very very bad so I'm going to be letting her use this for a little while but I mean after three months I <coughs> would have to say the only complaint that I actually have about this phone in any way is the Battery life, when I first got it, I averaged six and a half hours, and on uh, lighter use, I got up to seven and a half hours. But for the last, I'd say, month at least, I've been averaging five and a half hours on screen time. So it's been staying pretty steady. It, I kind of figured it wasn't going to be able to stay at that like close to seven hour mark I knew that was unrealistic but I figured it averages five and a half hours on screen time which actually does quite well for what I use it for uh, I cannot complain other than that the call quality is great <coughs> sorry about that but this yeah the call quality is great the speakers plenty loud you plug in a headset and wow the sound like there is phenomenal the screen is beautiful watching videos great the 1080p screen is just absolutely gorgeous um i mean really the only thing the only things i could ask for on this that aren't on it would be the 32 gigs of storage instead of the 16 and maybe 3 gigabytes of ROM or RAM. I mean, but 
So if it was like a 32 gig and 3 gig, I think it would be absolutely perfect. But in all reality, it runs everything I've put it through. There's not been one game it hasn't been able to handle. I mean, I just, I love the phone. And I would recommend it to anybody. Right now, as far as I know, it is still, um, if you bring in a new line to Cricket, it's, I believe, yeah. still $99. So, I mean, for 100 bucks, you cannot go wrong. This is a great phone. And, yeah, after three months, I'm still loving it. And I have no regrets about purchasing this phone. If there's anything I missed in this video, please comment in the comment section whatever questions you have, and I will get back to you, and I'll answer them as quick as possible. I just want to say thank you to everybody. If you're a first-time viewer, please remember to subscribe and ding that bell to make sure you know when I'm putting out a new video. And for everybody else, just please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to my videos. I mean, I'd really appreciate if if you share, this, share my videos out there to get it out to a little bit bigger audience, help my channel grow a little bit um, more. But um, I appreciate everybody's support, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next one. All right, peace.